Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news with the gorgeous Miss Jane Seymour, who tells us all about the latest CC collection. Remember though, Jane? If you miss it, you'll miss out. <laughs> Don't miss Jane today <laughs> on your entertainment news. Well done. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Jane, lovely to see you. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, you're so you're here because we're talking about Austin Reed CC, mm. right? So tell me, how did you get involved originally? Because I saw you originally on the catwalk doing strutting your stuff. No, I never strutted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've never been a model. I'm, I'm way too too small for that. But uh, no, they they called my agent here in England and uh, said, would Jane like to be the face of CC? And I said, what's CC? And then they showed me these nice clothes and I just thought, well, why not? And they take the most beautiful photographs. So they? yes, they do. <laughs> so I said, well, that can't hurt. So uh, no, so I did it and, and then they renewed me and then they renewed me again. And, and uh, I think it must be doing quite well because they keep asking me to come back. It's doing very well. Yeah. And my theory on this is, <laughs> and, and this is what I like, you're bringing sort of glamour back to the high street. I think women, you know, we've had a long period, like when you think about it in the 80s, we had Dynasty in Dallas, where people dressed up and it was nice. Yeah. Then we went through this grunge period where everybody had to be either like Kate Moss, looking like death and no yeah. glamour. So you're a, always beautifully turned out. <laughs> Well, first of all, when I lived in England, I got art A-level, not that that meant anything. But before I got art A-level, I was at a ballet school and I wanted to be a ballet dancer and my parents couldn't afford the shoes. So I learned how to knit and crochet and sew and embroider. <laughs> and I sold my stuff to Browns in South Moulton Street. So I actually had a company when I was 15 in this country. 15 years. And then I sold to um, Kensington Market. You said you were 15 and you got your first business. I mean. 15 years old to be dealing with, you know, South Moulton Street and Brown, it's a big thing to do, actually. I mean, you're very hysterical. flippant, but, well, you know, like, oh, it's, you know, but it's a big well, company, you know. Well, the funny thing is that they just gave me these blouses and said, do something with them. And I came back and they said, we love them, you know, how much? And I'd been told that you should always ask for double because they'll always knock you down. So <laughs> I sort of plucked up the courage. And for some reason, I got way too courageous and I asked for triple. And they said, fine. Where's your triplicate order book? And I said, oh, one moment, I left my triplicate order book. Um, I didn't have a car, so um, out there. So I said, excuse me. I ran around the corner to the first stationery shop. I said, I need a triplicate order book. OK, grabbed it, wrote out the order, um, called up my mother's accountant and said, I need a, a company now. And so I, I suppose you have a thing where they have companies that are on the shelf. Yeah. Right, well, there was one on the shelf called Bill Mill, and that was my company. <laughs> so I, I got myself a company that day, got incorporated immediately, ran the thing through, and... We have a, a film production company. We produced a film called Walk the Line, the Johnny Cash movie. Oh, that was yeah, ours. So, that. Yeah, 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 we owned that, part of that. And we did one called uh, Blind Dating with, with Chris Pine. And now we've got one coming up right now that's doing the festival circuit. It's called Waiting for Forever. And we were actually, we own part of that. We are, it's our investment. And um, Is it uh, nerve-wracking, though? Because very nerve-wracking. You know, as an actress, you're looking at it from a... You yeah. know, like, oh, this is a great story. You probably see it from beginning to end, don't you, in your mind. But once you're making it, once you're investing, it's all down to the lap of the gods. You don't know if people are going to love it. Well, no, but, um, you know, what you do is you, there's a lot of testing that goes on. Um, you make sure you make it for a certain amount of money and no more. That way you know you can at least get your money back mm. so no one's going to be out of pocket. <laughs> you know, you may not make a profit, but everyone will be, be fine. Yeah. Um, and, and this particular one, it's at the moment, it's, um, there are people who want to distribute it. It's really good. The audiences are loving it. It's, it's just done two film festivals. It's, going to, it's just been chosen for Gen Arts in New York, which is huge. 
and in Dallas and Nashville and I mean all these film festivals and uh, uh, I think it's going to do very well. Tom Sturridge, English actor, oh, is yeah. our star in it. He's fabulous with Rachel Bilson. But this I'm entirely behind the scenes. You know, my husband James Keach um, directed it, and he and Trevor oh, Albert exactly. they uh, <laughs> they produce it. And I, you know, I'm my involvement. People say, what do you actually do? Well, apart from putting my money into it, I, I read the scripts and decide whether or not this is one we're going to do. I go to America and I, uh, when I was about 26 and I didn't have any money and so I would um, eventually, when I made a little bit of money, I'd buy a house that nobody wanted and I'd do it up, design it, and then someone would buy it completely done up and then I'd buy another one. So I used to do that while I was acting. And uh, then a number of years ago, a, a company in America called Saks Incorporated, like Saks Fifth Avenue, but yeah. they own 260 stores, I think. They asked me to design home furnishings for them. And uh, I did that. I also designed uh, women's clothing for another company called Crossing Point for three years, based on my paintings. And I have a, an art career. I make, I make more money as an artist than I do as an actress. We're always intrigued to know, what's it like for you now, you've got like Barack Obama, because we had him actually in this He's particular cool. studio. Yes. What's, the, you know, what's the feeling like? Because we've just come back from New York, it's very positive. You know, we, we get a good positivity from you. I think, I think um, it was more positive when, when we got him. Yeah. <laughs> and I think people are a little concerned now about the health bill. I think people are very concerned about what's happening in terms of the recession. You know, I, I, I think people are very disenchanted with uh, the whole financial system. Uh, I mean, things are pretty dire over there yeah. for a lot of people. I mean, so many people have lost their homes, have lost their jobs. I mm. mean, if you if you graduated from a decent university, it's really hard to get a job right now. So I think it's um, it's pretty tough. You're an iconic lady. It's been an absolute thrill oh, to see you, you again. Thanks so much. You're thank welcome. You.